So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually enabling people to send messages from this text box. So the way we do that is we're going to go back to Sublime Text. We're going to uh, first do this, which is where we say msg input dot value is equal to nothing. This just means so that whenever you send the message, the message box will go blank. So if I upload this, uh, let's just put in Francis McNamee. And let's just run the function. You'll see the message, blo message box got wiped clean for you to be able to write another message. And then the message gets sent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Um, okay, so uh, where is it? So actually, I just remembered uh, we can actually already send uh, messages from the text box because here we have on key down, then we run some JavaScript which says if the key code is equal to 13, which is equal to the return key on the keyboard. Then we run the send message function. So we've actually been able to do this all along, I just forgot. So if I say hardcode.org and click enter, it actually been able to send it all along, I just forgot about that. So uh, now that we've all, all we've got left to do is create the update function. Uh, and obviously create the PHP for it. So if we just uh, upload this, it'll just make our error go away in the console. So you can see the error's gone. Okay, so we're going to go to update messages, and we're actually just going to copy this because it's quite similar to the uh, get messages.php page or uh, file. So we're just going to delete that because we don't need to uh, get past a message. Um, we don't need uh, to check if the message is blank or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this query. So instead of saying uh, insert into messages, we're just going to say select all from messages. And we don't need the bind param function. And we're ready to execute. So uh, when we execute it, uh, we will obviously not get any output yet because we're not uh, returning any output. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop that will print all the messages in the database. So the way we do that is we say result is equal to result fetch row whoops it actually result get result then we want to say while uh, r is equal to uh, result fetch row then we're going to echo um, r actually we'll say print r r because um, the R variable is going to be an array, so if we have to, so we have to use the print R uh, function to be able to output the array, and then we're going to echo uh, the pre tag just so that we can see everything formatted properly. So let's go to slash get messages.php, and you can see here is all the messages from the database, and they've all been output as uh, individual arrays. So what we want to do is we want to uh, output them in a specific format so that. Uh, our JavaScript uh, file is extremely easy to parse. So the way we do that is instead of print our uh, the variable, we're just going to also get rid of the echo. We want to say echo r1. So the reason we're echoing r1 is because that is the username. So if you look here, here's the index of each item in the arrays. Here's 0, 1, and 2. 0 is the ID from the database, so we don't need that. So we just need one, which is the username, and two, which is the uh, message itself. So we're going to echo our we're going to echo our one, which will give us the username. Then we're going to echo a slash, which is going to separate them. With this is uh, our delimiter, which is going to make it easier to parse the messages uh, from the database. Then we're going to echo our two, which is going to be the message, and then finally we're going to echo a new line. So obviously backslash n is a new line, um, but it won't be output by the browser because browsers look for the break tag when they're outputting text, uh, when they're outputting a new line actually. So what we're going to get is a big straight line of messages. But um, the new line allows us to um, split uh, the output we send to our JavaScript file uh, so that it makes it easier to parse. Because we know that when we see a new line, that's the end of a message. And when we see a backslash, that means that uh, everything after the backslash is the actual message and everything before it is the user who sent the message. That is why we are uh, outputting uh, things like this. We could also just echo it uh, different, we could echo it like this. 
uh, and then echo R2 and then echo new line if you prefer but it makes no difference if we just run this we'll get the same result you see we get the same output so that is actually our get messages page done so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time